If you go, go slow Cause there's some things I've never told you Why, I don't know I guess I've never been as bold as you You put a little beat in my heart And a little light in my dark And now it's my turn But where do I start? You got me hooked in like an upbeat chorus Got me on my knees begging for it You got my whole heart screaming it And you got the whole dance for feeling it You caught me off guard with your rhythm so smooth Gotta take it all in I hit the floor like you do You put a little beat in my heart And a little light in my dark And now it's my turn But where do I start? You got me hooked in like an upbeat chorus Got me on my knees begging for it You got my whole heart screaming in And you got the whole dance for feeling it You caught me off guard with your rhythm so smooth Gotta take it all in Supposed to keep you guessing. I should have swallowed my pride, cause that's what you left with. Cause now I'm on my knees and I'm begging for you. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. It's your girl Amanda Sands and I'm here with more awesome places that you can visit. Today we are on our way to Mpumalanga, which is one of the nine provinces in South Africa. And let me tell you about this place. It is absolutely breathtaking. I'm always in awe every time I get to be in this beautiful space. Pumalanga is about five hours from Gauteng, um, specifically Johannesburg, which is where I was heading from in this video. Normally, five hours sounds like a really long time, but it was worth it. And I prefer to travel during the day so that I get to see everything and all my surroundings and just take in all this beauty that's around me. I mean, look. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. I love the mountains, the trees, and it's just beautiful it's like something out of a picture on the topic of beauty i'd like to take this time to say hello to my beautiful sans fam thank you for tuning in and thank you so much for your consistent support throughout my youtube journey and just for engaging with my content like this channel is you and there wouldn't be a channel if it wasn't for you so i appreciate each and every one of you and to anyone who has recently engaged with my content, if this is your first time, welcome to you too. I also appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this video and you continue to tune in. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any content from me. Our destination for today is the Kruger National Park and we're here. This is the reception area where you pay to enter. And I'm going to put the rates on the screen just so you see how much it would cost you depending on what part of the world you're coming from. There are quite a few options available in terms of what you want your experience to be. So you can do a self-drive, which means it's you, your vehicle and the wild. Or you can opt to do a tour and you'll have an experience guide and probably a group of people who you'll join as you travel through the Kruger National Park. 
Sans fam, you have opted for a self-drive and your guide today is going to be me. To our left is what was once a river that's now completely dried out. That is such a sad sight as I'm sure it was the main source of water for the animals. But thankfully, the Kruger National Park is quite large and I'm sure they have alternative options. With the park being so large, at times you'll only spot animals after driving for a while. But fortunately, after a few minutes, we were able to spot these impala to our left, which are grazing and just minding their own business. I think they're a bit shy because they started to sprint away as we drove past. Except for this one, which is clearly staring at us. One thing that I really wanted to see on this tour was a giraffe and there's really no guarantee what you'll come across on these large safaris but I did, I got to see the giraffe and let me tell you my excitement was on 100. It's such a majestic creature and I just think they're so cute and I love them, absolutely love them. To our right, we have a few zebra just crossing through the bushes. We not only saw one, but two giraffe on our trip. And this one is a younger one, a baby, that was trying to be reunited with its parent. They had been separated by the road, but here you can see it crossing over to get back to its parent. I thought this was the cutest thing just to see them reunited. Another star was this lone rhino. Rhinos are part of the big five and it was really great to be able to see one so close. It looks like it was nearing one of the vehicles but I think it may have been startled because then it quickly turned away and went back into the bushes. We came across even more impala and the nice thing is whenever you're on a safari you will come across them guaranteed chilling in the bushes there we have some wild dog just taking a break this large body of water is known as a crocodile river and it's actually one of the rivers that you see four kilometers upon kilometers on your way to Mpumalanga. at some point i really believe that it does not end because it is that long it just continues one of the things that I really wanted to come across during this drive 
was elephants and I knew it was a long shot because the cougar is so massive but I really had hope and as the day was going by we hadn't seen any I was starting to lose that hope until finally we saw the elephants they were the last animal that we came across and I was so happy they are so majestic and generally peaceful I love just looking at them doing their thing Calling, I'll wait, I'll wait every time. I'm part of your style, never small. 